In this video, I will compare Linear versus Jira and tell you which of these tools may be best for you and your needs. So Jira is a little bit of a more established tool in this space and Linear is pretty new. And in this video, I'll just explain which of these tools may be best for you, depending on the features that you are looking for. Because Linear does have less features than Jira, but that could also be a good thing. Because I've seen many people that use Jira that are only using, for example, 1% of its features, and the rest is just there, and you see that every time, that makes it kind of hard to find stuff, only if you're really accustomed to it. So that could give it quite a big learning curve. So if you're already using Jira, Personally, I would just keep going with it because you have probably already gotten accustomed to the software and know how to use it. However, if you are first starting and you're choosing between Jira and Linear, then Linear is a very strong contender. In terms of features, it is a product development tool that allows you to plan, build, you get insights, you can ask questions, they will help you secure workspace and it has some really good integrations. Now you should keep in mind that Jira also has good integrations, but you can see some of them right here. So for collaboration, you have Slack, which is the main one, but you also have Discord, Loom and more. Then for automations, you have Zapier, which integrates with over 7,000 different apps. Then you can also integrate with Jira actually. You have Fillout and then you have engineering apps. You have bug reporting apps. You have customer experience apps, analytics, media and design, security and compliance, and integrations built by the linear team. Now you can even build your own integration if you would like to using the API. So in terms of integrations, Linear is very, very strong and it will probably integrate with whatever app you want. Because otherwise, if it's not here, you can simply go and add your own integration right there. So when should you use Linear compared to Jira? Now since Linear is pretty new, it is not as extensive as Jira. Jira really caters to a lot of different teams and types of businesses. And Jira is not only for product development, which it does do, but it's also for marketing, IT, design, and operations. So if you're looking for a more all-in-one tool, then I would definitely consider either keeping with Jira or switching over slash picking Jira. Now, if you are simply looking to do product development with perhaps multiple teams that are working together, then I would go with Linear. So if you're looking strictly for a product development tool, then I would go with Linear. If you're looking for a tool that does more than that, but that is a bit more complex, then I would definitely consider Jira. Now in terms of pricing, there is a free plan available. And if you bill monthly, the standard plan is $7.16, premium $12.48 and enterprise has custom pricing. Now if you have less team members, then the pricing does go up a little bit. And if you have more, then it becomes cheaper. Now it isn't a huge difference and with annual, you can save a little bit of money. Now comparing this to Linear's pricing, here you also pay per user per month and the basic plan is $10 and business 15 and enterprise has custom pricing. Now if you want, for example, the Zendesk and Intercom integrations, you will need to get the business plan. But what is pretty good is in the free plan, you have already got unlimited members, two teams, 250 issues and unlimited archived. So these ones right here are only in the active slash backlog issues and they have Slack, GitHub and API access. So that concludes this comparison of Linear versus Jira. If this comparison did help you make a decision, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. And with that being said, I will see you in the next video.